Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. In this voyage, I'll be sharing my unboxing and quick overviewing of Dell's refurbished laptops. Is it worth getting a refurbished laptop over a brand new one if you're under a budget? Well, let's find out in this voyage. Before we get straight into the video, I'd like to inform you guys that I'll do a comparison between these two laptops in the next video. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you're interested. The Alienware came with the original packaging, but as you guys can see here, the seal is broken by the previous user. Anyways, for the XPS 17, it didn't come with the original box and have been repackaged, therefore it looks way smaller than the XPS 15 that I've unboxed recently. One problem though, I was concerned of the protection of this XPS. When you shake it, there is a noticeable wobble inside, and I'm not sure if it could break the internal of the laptop during shipping. It wasn't the case on the Alienware though. It literally looks brand new. This out. Oh my god. Wow. This is very exciting. This is probably one of the most futuristic looking laptop I've ever seen. It's surprisingly not that heavy too. Very exciting. So guys, I forgot to mention this, but it did come with this Dell refurbished certification thingy. Mitigi, so yeah. And here is the charging cable and charging brick. So we're gonna put this aside. So in here we have the charging brick and charging. This is huge! What? <laughs> you see how big this is? <laughs> Anyways. You can barely open it with one hand. No sign of usage at all. And even the sticker is still on. What? So far, this laptop looks pretty much brand new to me. Despite the fact that the seal is already broken. Let's move on to the XPS 17. The XPS packaging is a little bit different as it doesn't come with the original box. Hmm. Ignore my previous judgement about the packaging of this laptop. As you can see, it is well secured in bubble wrap. This is huge! Oh my god. And again, the little refurbished um, card. And here is the pow power brick and the char Oh no! The charging cable and this little thingy. I don't know what this is. The charging brick is still wrapped, but this is um, wrapped in rubber band, which is interesting, as the Alienware the even the. Charging stuff comes in a box. So let's. And there's also a little USB hub in here too. So, for equipment. First thing first, I'm a little bit disappointed by the packaging of this power cord. It's wrapped in a cheap rubber band material, and these two USB C hub is just thrown in a box. But good thing is, the 130 watt. Power brick is still wrapped in its original packaging. To be honest, I wasn't as exciting when unboxing this XPS 17 as the Alienware, just because I've already got a chance to unbox the XPS 15, and this just looks like an ordinary working laptop for me. It's just two pieces of aluminum slapped together to form the outside of this laptop. 
Plus, I've already got a chance to unbox the XPS 15 9500 already, so there isn't much hype for me on the XPS 17. Make sure you guys come and check out the XPS 15, links will be down in the description below. First thing first, this laptop is really hard to open because there's no gap for my finger to grip onto. Very spacious trackpad and palm rest, a really thin bezel, and the hinge is really sturdy. Absolutely no usage at all, looks brand new to me, no dust or anything. Well, that's pretty much it. I think I might have to use this laptop for a few more days just to check if there's any sort of problem I might encounter. As you can see, they can open with one hand, but it's really hard. See you guys in a few days. back after two weeks of using these two laptop I have encountered some problems regardless they are minor problem and it's not a big issue to me at all please ignore the fact that I said that I was gonna come back in one week it's actually been two weeks because there's some major delay in filming because I wasn't bothered doing anything so yeah so first we have the Alienware the Alienware is previously known for being overheating thermally and They have tried to address this problem, but in generally speaking, it's still quite hard. This isn't a problem when you do normal tasks like browsing web and typing script, but even when I play a not so CPU demanding game like TFT, I sometimes experience a sudden frame drop to 30 FPS and the heat wasn't properly dissipated. It wasn't a problem when you turn in full speed mode that essentially a beast mode in the Alienware command center where the fans are ramped up incredibly loud to push all the hot air out. Thermally speaking, it reduces the thermal significantly, even video editing, the machine stays decently cool. And there's this one time when the fan made a very loud and strange noise and which kind of freaks me out a little. But I only experienced that problem one time during this entire usage process. Okay, lastly, there is sometimes a very loud shutter koi whine that I can hear when I powered on the laptop. It is not so loud, but definitely noticeable. Beside those problems, there isn't any other issue as far as I can tell. Laptop condition is great, no sign of usage at all, looks 99% brand new to me. Okay, to the XPS. Believe it or not, I've actually experienced absolutely zero problem on the XPS 17 at all. So I will say that the XPS is 99.99% brand new, beside the fact that it didn't come with the original packaging. Regardless of that, I am more than happy to skip out on the original packaging just to get such a prestigious laptop for over than $1,000 off in Australia. I got this laptop for $2,360 refurbished compared to $4,000 as listed on their website, which occasionally go on 20% sale, which bring it down to $3,200. Still, $2,360 compared to $3,200 is a steal deal. Okay, in conclusion, should you trust and get a Dell refurbished laptop if you're under a budget? 
Heck yeah, I strongly recommend getting one if you're under a budget. Beside the fact that the XBS didn't come in its original box and the unboxing experience isn't as exciting as unboxing a brand new one, the laptop itself looks brand new to me. No scratch or any sign of usage, the Alienware even still has a plastic cover remaining on the frame. But keep in mind that all units are different. You may find yourself unlucky when receiving one that isn't as good as others, but there's always a refund. So yeah. Well that's the end of this voyage. Comment down below what you think about Dell's refurbished laptop and if you already owned one, make sure to hear your experience down in the comment as well. Consider subscribing and like because I'll do a comparison of these two in the next voyage and see you guys in our next video. Bye!